First process into shaving a bay. You want to get some good quality shaving cream. I prefer this edge sensitive skin. We're going to get it all there. Rub it in. Now we're going to start shaving. Something's telling me that this isn't quite working. Dude, what the hell would they mean by shave a bay though? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know what they mean by shaving the bay. <laughs> Welcome back to another video, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jude's dying in the background of like COVID. Um, so am I. I had like an asthma attack the other day, so my that's why my voice sounds weird weird. And the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna do a little bit of talking. So if you guys wanna skip over to this, over to like us getting to work on the E30, you can do that. I'll put like a time card or or whatever. There's two things I wanna talk about. We've been getting so much love recently on like the channel and my Instagram and like me and Jude have been loving it. Every one of you guys that have been DMing me and following me on Instagram and always swiping up on my stories and shit like that, I love you guys. Uh, OG followers right there. OG followers. Anyways, I have a question for you guys. I am getting another M3 and it's gonna be like an E90 or an E92. But my question to you guys is, do you guys want me to see me get a dual clutch or a manual? My last M3 was dual clutch and I was super, I like, like I love that transmission. Such a good transmission. It's really fitting to the car. I have driven six speeds, they're pretty good. For me, I, th I see it as you really can't go wrong, whichever one you get, because dual clutch is an amazing transmission and the manuals is still an awesome transmission. I wanna see what you guys think I should do if you guys think I should get a dual clutch or I should get a manual. Just drop it in the comments what I should get, but I know I'm getting another M3. After all that talking, I'm gonna get telling you guys to what we're doing. Like, dude, what are we even doing in this video? I'm just standing here rambling. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just talking about S65s and E92 M3s and I don't even know what words are coming out of my mouth. Many of you guys don't know, this is my E30. There's many of many videos, well not that many, but we have a decent amount of videos on this channel regarding this car. Everybody loves a clean E30. Who, who doesn't? Weird people. Yeah, weird people. Yeah. Weird people. Speaking of weird people, if you guys are watching this and you aren't subscribed, you're weird. Subscribe right now. I will give them five seconds to go and subscribe. Alright, you guys better be subscribed. Anyways, one thing we're gonna do on this car to make it just that shocking wow, like, that's a sick E30. We're gonna shave the bay. If you guys can see, like, my engine bay is kinda like fucked. Everything that just isn't right. Your like, texture. Yeah, like, what the fuck is up with this and everything, you know? For me to go send this car off for my friend's dad to paint it and everything, and then I still have this crud engine bay, that's not me. So, we're gonna be pulling this engine out and pulling everything out of the engine bay and getting to work, cutting it up, welding shit in, sanding it down and making it look good. I'm gonna take everything off and everything out besides the engine. Cause I was an idiot and I left my engine hoist at the shop. I have my engine hoist, literally the only thing I have to do is put the engine hook on it and lift it out. That's it. So we're gonna get to it. We're gonna start with the intake. Take the, all the shit off for the intake manifold. It's the first time we captured on this new camera and it looks crispy. <laughs> yeah, dude, somebody slid up on my story the other day. They slid up and said, oh, we're gonna get some sick shots of you drinking out of that big ass mug. Tristan Edwards. Shout out Tristan Edwards for saying that. Nah, nice. We finna get some fire shots of you drinking water out of that huge ass glass. And we did. Put one up for Tristan. Mm. It's so big, like water just goes everywhere. <laughs> I gotta take this uh, wiring harness cover off. Steps down here, unplug. That's out of the car, right? Yeah. 
Dude, what color butt plug do you want for New Year's? Chrome, probably. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah that'd be sick. Yeah. yeah. Can that go in the video? Yeah, why not? Dude. You think I would get in trouble? Take these clips off. All right, we're gonna pull this Johnny off. Come on. From, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm forgetting a clip, I'm forgetting a clip, forgetting a clip. Ah, oh my god, ah, 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 fuck, I got it. That was a close one. Yeah, but th this is, this is its own circumstance. Dude, how fast can I remove this wiring harness? That's a spark. Yeah. <laughs> what open circuit do you have? This. Where? Right here. Oh, 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 your fucking engine power. Um. That's cool. I'm just gonna leave that there for now. I'm gonna go get a 13 millimeter and disconnect the battery. <sighs> I'm just gonna strip that. Just saying, Chief Keef fan about Chief this. Chief Keef fan about this. Chief Keef fan about that. Chief Keef always in the barbershop. Always in the barbershop, Chief Keef ain't about this. Chief ain't about that, my boy, a BD on fucking Lamron and them. He Take this fucking piece of shit off. Take all of these guys out. Oops. As you guys can see in my glove box, I have a couple expired registration cards. BMW 325. BMW 325. So everyone talks about having a quick release steering wheel for like theft protection. You're an idiot. I have a quick release engine computer for theft protection. That's right. I drive to school. What do I do? I take my DME out. Nobody's stealing my shit. I go to the mall. I, I go to the gym. I take my DME out. I put it in my bag. Or if I don't have one, I'm carrying it around with me. People are like, what's that metal box? I'm like, I'm like, where's your metal box, you fool? I could go steal your car right now. Let's drain your colon and then... Did you just have water in there? Yeah, pretty much. Oh my god. Now, now we got cooling all over the floor. Shout out to the time that I zip tied my radiator in. Fuck. Get this shit everywhere. Ugh. Ugh, fuck. Alright, dude, radiator is out. All the cooling system is out. There's also coolant all over my floor and lemonade because Jude spilt lemonade. So the camera died in the middle of me and Jude filming and we didn't realize that. I stripped down the front end. I still have to take the valence off. I have the headlights out as you guys can see. Jude, if you can get up close and show them how crusty this body harness is. Like look how crusty this body harness is. This is for the headlights. Somebody's clearly been in there. But like, that just doesn't look good. Like, look at this. That's it, that's hard. That's like hard and gray. Hey, yo! It's not me? Yeah, it's not me. All right, fired up. You're fired up. Okay. All right, guys, so this is part one. We got everything removed besides the engine. Next video, like I said, we're gonna take the engine out, brake booster out, get everything stripped down, then we're gonna start cutting out all the brackets and then getting everything like measured up and making templates for all the stuff we're gonna use to like weld in patch panels and all that stuff. Not really much else to say. Next video, it's gonna be a good video. Like, I, I just, I'm just so excited to like see what this turns out or like how this turns out. Cause I know like it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right, guys.
Thank you for watching. Comment down below if I should get a E30 M3 and dual clutch or a manual, like I said before in the beginning of the video. Next video to come is going to be on the E30, you know, doing more shape bay action. We're actually going to be getting to it and cutting things and welding things and making patch panels and doing all that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Peace out, and I will see you in the next one. Boom.